Hi, this is Dr. Priyanka Arkuri, uh, Consultant Dermatologist, Astor Hospital, Whitefield. Today we will be talking about uh, one of the most common skin disease which is vitiligo vulgaris. So vitiligo vulgaris is characterized by milky white patches. Now why does this happen? There are a lot of uh, uh, theories behind this, why this happens. So one most common is your autoimmune, where the immune cells will kill the melanocytes. Now, now the melanocytes are the cells which give color to the skin. So these melanocytes are attacked by the immune cells and they just die off and then we don't get the color to the skin and then results in a milky white patch. So one of the reason is your autoimmune. The second reason it could be your oxidative stress which is happening in our body. There's also a neurogenic theory which says that the nerves release a toxin which kill the cells, hence give, resulting in these patches. The other one is autocytotoxic theory where it means that the melanocytes which are formed in the skin are already deformed. So after a few years, they, they automatically die on themselves resulting in this white patch. Certain vitamin deficiencies are also known to be associated with vitiligo like your vitamin B12 deficiency. There are other diseases as well associated with vitiligo like like your thyroid disorder or alopecia areata. Today we will be talking mainly about the management of vitiligo vulgaris. Now in management it is mainly a medical line of treatment and surgical. A lot and lot of advances have been done in this uh, management of vitiligo. So today we will be concentrating more of surgical than your medical line. Now in surgery who are the best candidates who can go for surgical management of the vitiligo. There is something called a stable vitiligo. Stable vitiligo means the persons in whom there is no new patch in the last six months to one year or else the existing patches have not increased in size in the last six months to one year. Few books do mention six months and few journals do mention about one year. So at least a cutoff of six months is taken to uh, term it as, as a stable vitiligo. These are the candidates who can go for the surgical uh, modalities. Now there are various surgical modalities which can be done for vitiligo. The age old one is your mini punch grafting. It is the most economical one which can be done for the vitiligo surgeries but there are few limitations because it doesn't give that much of a aesthetically good results so here what we do is that a few punches are taken from the recipient site okay uh, around 0.5 mm and then they are grafted onto the donor site once they are grafted onto the donor site they are dressed and then the graft is taken for around 7 to 10 days and then the then the dressing is open and the color repigment develops. The only drawback of the surgery is that it gives a cobblestoning effect and the other one is it can be done for the smaller areas. So now also people can opt for the surgeries because it is more economical and it can be done for the acral areas like your fingers and your toes. Now the next options what we have was your split skin grafting and ultra thin skin grafting where usually a thin layer of your skin grafting is taken and then attached to the donor area. But here the drawback was that it gives a patchy look and there is a lot of color mismatch which was happening here. The third surgery was your uh, suction blister grafting. Here it was an amazing uh, uh, breakthrough when they discovered this. So here what it is done is that a negative pressure is created onto the skin using syringes or a cup and a very thin layer of the skin is formed a very thin layer of the skin forms a blister now this blister the roof of the blister is then harvested and then put onto the uh, donor area but the here only the cells are taken over the whole graft is again shed off after seven to ten days so mainly here the cells are taken over by the donor area and then this gives an excellent good results same color as of that the surrounding area so that was not like a uh, paste technique so it was giving a good results but the only drawback of this was that we couldn't cover larger surface areas now the last one is your non-culture melanocyte transfer which is one of the best surgeries available for your vitiligo surgeries here usually the donor area is around one tenth of the area what we are looking for to uh, do the surgeries. So it means that if you're taking around one centimeter of the donor area, at least it can cover 10 centimeter of your recipient area. So we could do a large surface areas. So basic thing, what we are doing here is also the same thing. We are taking a small thin graft. There are various chemicals which will just remove the cells, only separate the melanocytes and the epidermal cells and form the suspension. And the suspension is then put over to the donor area, which will help to cover a larger surface area. 
area and again the same thing dressing and post procedure uh, care is to be done for all the surgeries the color is not found in immediately it will take around three to six months to repigment completely along with your medicines and the other therapies what are available will help to repigment the area almost completely around 90 percent so for further inquiries about your vitiligo surgeries please contact us at Astra Hospital Whitefield thank you